I know this probably isn't the video that you guys were expecting. I said in my post that I was going to do a portrait tutorial with gouache, but after struggling so much with this painting, I felt like I'm not the person to be giving anyone a tutorial. So instead, I'm going to talk to you guys about my struggles with this medium and what I did to eventually overcome them. I have used gouache before, I've done some smaller pieces with it, but mostly I work with watercolors. I would say that it's my main medium, and this is important because my background with watercolor is what makes me struggle so hard with gouache. I'm using new paper, which I'm really excited to use. This is a Bao Hong hot pressed paper. I, I've used the cold pressed version of this one before, and I love it. I just think that the texture is maybe a little bit too rough. I I wanted to see if the hot pressed one would help, so I'm trying this one out. This paper, by the way, is great for sketching. It's smoother than any other watercolor paper I've used before. So my pencil just glides along the surface and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing it down like it does with my cold pressed version. The brushes I'm using are my Artist's Loft brushes. Someone actually informed me that they were an exclusive Michaels brand brushes and I got so sad that I couldn't find them anymore here in the Philippines. So if you're from the US and you're looking for good quality affordable brushes, I'd try these out. I use these for my watercolors, my gouache paintings, and very recently I've used them for acrylics too and they're great. So the very first thing that goes wrong is that I filmed the sketch and I did the initial layers on this one but I completely forgot to hit record on my phone so I had to redo the whole thing including my sketch so that the one you're seeing right now isn't actually the one that I'm gonna be painting on. So now I'm just picking out my colors, I scoop them out of their containers using my palette knife because I really don't want to completely open them and I, and I have been asked before about how they're looking now and as you guys can see, they're almost the exact same consistency as when I opened them first and that was about 4 months ago so it's doing great but now it looks like there's a jump on my palette and that's again because this was after I did the first painting that I forgot to film. I am happy that this second sketch is a little bit bigger than the last one so hopefully you guys can see it better. Alright so onto the actual painting. The first thing that I struggle with with gouache is that these initial layers are so streaky. Because if you want to just block out these colors first and you want to get a, a feel for the whole painting, you need to really dilute it with water so it's easy for it to spread and fill out big spaces like this. And maybe I could have done better with a bigger brush. And I forgot to mention that I actually ended up using this Montmartre brush for the, these very first layers. But I don't recommend them at all, it's because they, they shed really bad. And now the reason why I'm blaming my watercolor background for my frustration with gouache is because if this was watercolor, this paint would have just laid down as smoothly as the water. But with gouache, you have to really push the pigment around to have it settle where you want it to. And so it takes a little bit more work to get flat washes with gouache than with watercolor. And there has been some questions about how much water to use with gouache. I initially just rinse out my brush in the water and then use that to dilute what I have in my palette. But this is very dependent on the water themselves. Some are more loose and watery than the uh, than others some are in the process of drying already so so it's different for everyone depending on what state their paints are in these initial layers i use a lot more water too and as i add more and more layers i just use less and less because i want those top layers to be nice and solid for those details that i'm going for to believe this is one of the hardest things about gouache when you're first starting out is really trying to figure out the consistency that you need to paint with and I wish I could help you guys more on that subject but there's just so many factors that go into it. I do have a theory that the gouache that comes in tubes will be a lot more consistent with that just because you keep it closed and so it doesn't dry as fast as these jelly gouaches tend to do. 
But yeah, it depends on how much water you use to revive your paints. And you can already see that this initial layer turned out really streaky and usually I wouldn't be bothered by that at this time. But on this painting, I was. And I think it's because it's such a large piece and maybe I should have used bigger brushes. It maybe it would have helped and what I said about gouache not settling as smoothly as watercolor still stands. So I think that's where most of my frustrations come from. For the second layer, I'm adding a little less water so it comes out more opaque than the layer before it. This is where the process of her really trying to capture the painting starts. I'm I'm a bit more wary of my color choices, but I, I'm still keeping in mind that there is a lot more room for that in the later stages too. When it comes to gouache, it becomes harder to blend the less water you add. So at this stage, stage it's easier. What I do is I rinse out my brush with water and then I remove the excess water from that brush and then I use that clean brush to blend out the edges better. I do enjoy painting these really tiny details with gouache, especially with a larger painting like this one. Even though it looks to be about average size, I am used to painting smaller, so this is like meditation for me. I enjoy this part a lot. Another thing that's also very hard to do is to layer loose washes over so many opaque layers. So when I'm adding colors like this one that I want to just slightly add color on top, I might disturb and reactivate the layers underneath that, so I have to be very careful. So it sounds like I'm talking about gouache being a very hard medium, but I've thought about it some more and I feel like if you're actually starting out with painting and you're trying to decide between this and watercolor, I believe gouache is a little bit easier. I think it's a better option if you haven't tried either. So if you're really trying to get into painting, I think gouache is a good way to start. You know, it's a bit more straightforward. Now I'm just adding white so I can define where I want the highlights to go later on. I'll go over this with the right colors that match the face, but you can already see that I'm struggling to get that to blend on top and I'm using my fingertips to kind of just push it around like that would help. But it didn't, as you might have guessed. I think if I had a flat brush, I would have played around with the textures a little bit more. I think that would have given me a much better result than the ones that I'm using. Also, adding this background was kind of an impulsive decision. I wanted it to add more contrast to her profile so, so we see more of it, but I still don't know if it was the better choice for this painting. 
it's absolutely key for painting portraits with gouache that you get all those different tones and colors in the face so when you can blend out those colors together you can at least get those transitions better and i struggled so much with this i told myself i was done with this painting probably like four times and every time i go back and add different colors on top because the colors really weren't what i had in mind so yeah it was a struggle just to get those colors to be exactly how i wanted them to look And see here, this is what I meant about disturbing the layers underneath when I tried to do a light wash over the layers that are already dry. I ended up messing up the layers under that. So yeah, that was a struggle. This was the next morning and I worked on the hair so I could get over my frustrations with the face first and now it looks like there's a jump in the background and that's because my phone died while I was filming it but really all I did was make sure it was all one solid color before I go ahead and add more texture to it later on. and then I got a little sneaky and went over where I messed up with her face with dark color to cover it with her hair but seriously knowing what I know now I feel like I could have fixed that by mixing the exact color that I want and making sure not to add too much water so it doesn't reactivate the layers underneath that I haven't talked much about the hair but since it's so dark I just really made sure that I was using cool tones for the shadowed parts of her hair and adding some warm browns where the light was hitting midway down her hair. And then I wanted the overhead lights to be a bright blue so it's different from the rest of her head. So now I'm just finishing the face off with some really dark paints for the details on her eyes and other dark areas to really make it pop. And then I'm just doing the same thing to the hair. Now I'm adding some texture to and different colors to the background because it was looking a little too plain for me.
then I'm finishing the whole thing off with my brush pen which Julie has actually informed me is called the uh, Kuretake Feud Pen number 33 so thank you again Julie I really love this brush pen so much it keeps its shape really well and it's also very flexible and it still has remained very juicy after me using it for a very long time And then I did a little bit more adjustments off camera because even after a few a uh, few days of me finishing this, I still wasn't happy with it. But this is what it looks like. So it really started off very frustrating for me, this painting. But I did enjoy the process overall and I'm already planning out my next gouache piece. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I will see you again soon.